Boris Johnson is facing a major backlash from Red Wall Tory MPs over the cancellation of a major HS2 route between Birmingham and Leeds. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps is due to make a rail investment announcement on Thursday, but it is widely expected he will ditch the proposed eastern branch of HS2. The minister will instead unveil new funding for a raft of regional northern rail projects to boost connectivity in a bid to deliver on the Prime Minister's so called leveling up agenda. But the move risks a rebellion from some Tory MPs whose constituencies would benefit from the faster rail link. But many MPs are adamant the eastern branch of the line, designed to match an HS2 link between Birmingham and Manchester, must go ahead. One Red Wall MP said, after all the extra money that has been spent in the South on getting HS2 to Birmingham, for the North to be left out is not a good thing. Jake Berry, the former Northern Powerhouse Minister and now the Chairman of the Northern Research Group of Tory MPs, has said, it's the crucial link for many Red Wall seats and our capital city, and is seen by many as central to the government's levelling up programme. Conservative MP Kevin Hollenrake, who represents Thirsk and Malton in North Yorkshire, said that trimming back the plans suggested the government was not willing to put our money where our mouth is. Supporters of the eastern branch of HS2 say it would reduce journey times, boost capacity and reduce overcrowding. However, there are concerns in Whitehall over how cost-effective the project would be as it would reduce journey times by 15 minutes but at a cost of an extra £10 billion. Labour has slammed the expected decision to scrap the eastern branch of the line. Shadow Transport Secretary Jim McMahon said ministers were attempting to quietly back out of infrastructure schemes that they had committed to dozens of times. Huge opposition from environmental activists has plagued the project since it was first proposed. A series of protests involving activists came to an end after two years in Buckinghamshire this weekend. 